Right, next question. Okay. <clears throat> Marler's supporters have made some insinuations about your integrity, alluding to your shady past, that sort of thing. Care to comment, Danny? Well, Derek, Ross Marler is a decent man and a worthy opponent. And I will feel exactly the same way when he loses. <laughs> all right. All right, that's really all I can offer you. I appreciate you doing this on the fly with me, but I've got another appointment. If you'll excuse me, good to see you. Thanks. Thanks. What's, what's going on? What's up? Nothing. Oh, it's just a rather oh. silly argument about something that we read in the paper. So you guys carry on. I gotta go inside. There's a Paris to make. I'm gonna close this restaurant early. Stop by before you go. What's going on? What article? Uh, like I said, it was silly. Hey, do you want to join me for some coffee? Do you have time? All right, you know what? You guys, it really does not take a genius to see all the tension that there's been between the two of you lately. Now, what's going on? Does that have to do with me, or... I know, are you still not thrilled about the fact I'm running for mayor? No, no, that's, that's not the problem. Then, look, there is no problem. <sighs> okay. Okay. Well, then, for future reference, if something comes up and there are any differences in opinion, can we just try to discuss it and, and keep it between ourselves? Of course. Of course. Okay. Why? Why? What's going on? Well, um, there have been some rumblings on the street that there might be some difficulty with some of the other families. And, I mean, I'm not involved in that anymore, but... my name could very easily get dragged into it, and we all know that would not help me get elected. Look, uh, Ross is not going to take advantage of that. I mean, he's not going to purposely spread lies about you. Uh, I know. I know, but since you mentioned I know Ross is your friend, and you have certain obligations to him. Well, I have obligations to you, too. I, I know what's at stake here. Okay. Thanks. We both... Mary got us here, and we followed her every step of the way without ever asking her what's in this for her. I mean, she could have gone to the police, she could have gone to anyone, but she chose us. Why? Why us? Because she knew she could get us to do what she wanted. What, are you saying that she's playing us? Yep. And we've let her do it. So far, she has controlled everything. I mean, we sit around here waiting for her to come to us. Well, I say we go to her. How, how do you know all this? And why do you have all these pictures of Marianne? Where are the pictures of, of your own family, your, your own children? Well, I have no family. I have no children. I'm afraid I've lived a very solitary existence. Early tragedy can change you profoundly, you know. It can change the way you live and the way you feel about life. Marianne Carruthers makes her debut in Springfield Society. The coming out bash was thrown by her aunt Caroline Carruthers of Louisiana. Marianne and Caroline are the only remaining members of the distinguished Carruthers family. You're Marianne's aunt. You're the only one left from the family? Yes. So you see, it was fate. It was fate that brought us together. You helped fate along. Oh, no. You moved into the Carruthers' house. And you two moved into the museum. You see, uh, we were destined to meet. How long were you watching us? Oh, for a very long time. You see, I had to be very sure that I could trust you. You and I both know the real reason you brought us into this. Oh, but my dear, I've told you the reason. To bring an end to all of this, this suffering. Yeah, well, I'm not buying. You came back here for one reason. Vengeance. Rick, what if Dad was keeping some kind of a secret? What? What secret? What are you talking about? Like something that, that he couldn't tell anyone because that would ruin his career or maybe his whole life. Are you suggesting that that's the why he's acting the way he is? Because he's keeping some secret? He's hiding something? No, no, I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out a way to explain it. Well, go ahead. Try. Well, what if it were true? And then we found out about it and we were the only ones who knew. Well, I'd try to help him like we're doing right now. Well, what about the secret? I mean, would we tell anyone if it was, you know, something that happened Michelle. in the past and nobody could change it? Michelle, 
I went to Dr. Grant because I was worried that one of Dad's mistakes could end up costing somebody their life. The patients have to be priority number one, but we're family, and of course I would do everything I could to protect them. So then you, you'd keep the secret in the family? Sure, if something happened a long time ago and couldn't be undone, yeah, I think I could bury it. 